crazy. He's crazy. He's crazy father. Ferguson's got the ball. He's gone over to score. Uh, there's too many for Ferguson. Oh, Ferguson's got a black lock and a Monday. Uh, we'll say Fergalicious. Crooked nose, just like him, crooked. <laughs> He's honking. <laughs> Big Fergo! Spreading away! Maybe I'm crazy! <laughs> Maybe I'm crazy! Oh, this is a photo finish! Space Cadet. Is that two words? Well, he joins us now. A very happy Easter to you, Blake Ferguson. We thank you very much for your company. I want to ask you first off, you're a renowned hugger. You, you love contact with your teammates. You're very affectionate. How are you handling isolation? Uh, yeah, it's been uh, pretty tough, obviously, but, you know, just been training and um, keeping a routine, which is very important, obviously, in these times. But, you know, we're also keeping in contact with our uh, video calling and stuff like that and messaging and whatever, so... Yeah, it's been all right. So based on that answer, wingers actually do train, do they? <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got to train to be able to compete with the, the calibre of players that we uh, play against every week. So, yeah, I've just been keeping up to date and um, keeping the body moving. Fergo, you didn't see this time as an opportunity to straighten that nose. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I was actually thinking about it, but it's only... Um, you can only have uh, surgeries or um, unless it's emergency, so that, that, um, obviously... That yeah. is an emergency. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll wait until I retire. Oh, no! <laughs> hey, Fergo, you Fergo, yet, Fred? Fergo how much, uh, how much high-speed running have guys like you, you've been doing? I mean, to go back to play uh, in the game, you're going to have to do some serious high-speed running before you're able to get back out there. Have you been practising that? Yeah, definitely. I've been down at um, Guy Mir. They just re-turfed um, the oval down there. So I've been down there three days a week uh, doing acceleration um, and then finish it off with a bit of repeatability. So, yeah, I'm just trying to keep the body ticking over. Um, and then I've got the gym in the garage here. It's a bit messy, but I've uh, just been doing a bit of power work in there, I guess. Let's talk about the competition coming back, Fergo, on May 28th. Uh, do you believe that'll be the date and are you ready to go and how long would you need to be ready do you think um, to get back into full contact um, oh, I'm ready whenever it doesn't really bother me I, I'm, I'm happy to play tomorrow if they ask us to so um, you know obviously they, they want us to uh, do a four week pre-season mini pre-season which I think is is pretty smart um, you know we don't want to be going out there and um, being real competitive um, and, and you know having risk of injury, stuff like that. So, you know, but I'm, I'm happy to do whatever. I'm a bit, a bit of a happy-go-lucky. So um, the sooner the, the better, I think. Your football's gone to a new level, Blake. You, you've had a colourful career, I think it's, it's fair to say, with all due respect. But if you could give advice, say, to a young Blake Ferguson 10 years ago, what, what would you say? Oh, I think, um, you know, obviously you've got to learn from your lessons and I think took me a fair while to um, learn from them but you know, obviously moving to Parramatta was a big um, was a big thing for me and I feel like I've uh, you know grown in a leadership bit of a uh, bit away and you know trying to teach all these young kids you know what it takes to win and you know obviously winning the comp in 2018 was pretty big for the, um, the club at the Roosters so I took a bit of knowledge there and you now we've got a few players that have that were in that team so uh, yeah, really looking forward to the season coming back to the start. See, Fergo, that was the perfect opportunity for you to say, I just wish I had met Dominique a bit earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. She's been very good for me, you know. I'm sure she... <laughs> <laughs> she's in there. You know what she's doing, actually? She's in there baking cupcakes, so... <laughs> there you go. Too good, Fergo. Too good, mate. Mate, just yeah. finally, um, don't worry about surgery. I know a couple of blokes that come around and sort that nose out for nothing. <laughs> that... I don't think they'll be able to knock it. Every time I get hit, I get hit on that side. <laughs> I never get hit on this side. That's uh, the sign to go. Yeah, but you're yeah. right side winger, you think. We, we actually worked that, that bit out. Good side you kept getting I think 
Yeah, I think I lean into the tackle uh, into runs a little bit different than their head button because I'm a bit tall, so I'm too. Okay, well, I good. Kristen, well, I, I apologise for the path down which this interview has taken. I really do, but That's we thank right. you very much for your time. Love and, you, um, Thanks, Yeah, Freddie loves you. Happy yeah. Easter, thank and you. hope you're enjoying Thanks your time with the kids Easter. and the family. Thank you very, very much.